All right, so last night I left you guys in the car to try and not um, stay up all night and vlog and actually get some sleep. I ended up staying out all night anyway, and now it's piss pouring rain. That was a failure. I have to go edit. Ha. Huh. Well, I'm going to start by saying I didn't win the lottery. Uh, I was pretty sure that was obvious. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would have heard it before today. But now it's time to get coffee and wake up. Cuban coffee and it's delicious. I think I ranted about it before, but it's actually incredible. I don't know where my coffee mug is. Alright, let's use this one. Because it's the second biggest mug that we have. It's the biggest ceramic mug that we have. How's that? I'd like to get a bigger ceramic mug. One that actually fits more. And then we can do that. I wonder if we're going to get any surface tension today. Oh, we very well could. I don't intentionally go for surface tension most of the time. But this, this time, let's see. Let's see. Uh, but I think we're gonna get service tension because look, well, it's that much, and there's still coffee in there. So I think we're gonna go for surface tension. Watch. It didn't work. Oh well. Close enough. So I'm sitting here, I'm drinking my coffee, and I'm working on a script, kind of. Um, we want to do like a Halloween special thing for like a horror for um, from here to their films which will be very interesting if we're able to pull it off. I already have an actress in mind and she's, she's up and she's, she's willing to do it, providing we can get the time off. So I'm writing the script in preparation for if she can get the time off to shoot it, which I think would be really cool. I, I think it would be a very, very fun experiment. Experiment, no. Um, but it would be something that I'd like to do. I'm not really a big fan of watching horror movies, but I know what it would take to scare people. I don't know, maybe I just know what it would take to be cheesy, but I know what it takes to act crazy, and I know what it takes to, you know. It's gonna be interesting anyway, even if we don't do it. We'll do it sometime. I, I would like to get it done and up in time for Halloween, but if we can't coordinate our days off, then we don't really have any time to shoot it, right? Make sense? Okay, see my problem with writing a script is I don't really write a movie or a film. I watch a movie and then I shoot it. Like, I I'm very visual. So like I know what shots I need to get, what angles, but the dialogue to fill them in, like I can't write in a script like shot from left side, include this in the shot. But my brain knows, hey, you need to get that shot. And trying to write a script for something that is mostly visual for me is something that's difficult. But hopefully, 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 we're going to be able to shoot this. Because that would be cool. I mean, I'd like to shoot it. Uh, yeah. Getting ready to pounce. She hears something under the deck. She wants to eat it. She wants to pounce on it and eat it. Oh, num, 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 num. Intense cat is intense. 
Very intense. Dun 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 dun. So I just cleaned up a bunch of cat puke. <laughs> I know you guys just wanted to know that detail completely. Uh, no, I was just downstairs playing some electric guitar, which you can see one of the riffs that I did. And you can see that on youtube.com slash distortion1990. I'm pretty sure it's not uploading already, actually. Uh, regardless. So I have that one riff up there. It's called generic punk riff. Because really, it's a generic punk riff. And uh, I went and I was looking around. Apparently, the cat puked like five times. It was a really great piece of information. I also have to try and get my car safety. But it's kind of hard when they won't answer the phone to make an appointment. And it's not really the kind of place to call you back. It's kind of like, um... Yeah, it's kind of like that. Whatever that was. Hey, what a random stroke of luck. I actually got a hold of them. It's a Thursday morning at 9.30 in the frickin' morning. Oh, dear God. Why did I sign myself up for that? Why? What is this? Because I, I, I know I like sleep. But I never sleep. And then I... Now watch. Wednesday night will be one of the nights that I actually sleep. And I'll have to get up for 9.30 in the morning. Like, I'll, I'll be there at 9. And it's only like 20 minutes, 10 minutes up the road. Not even that. But still. I want to look awake and look fresh and clean. Fresh goes better with life. I don't know what Mentos jingle. What am I doing? I'm tired. And I get an hour before I go to work. I know what to do with my time. I just sent an email to VidCon Info, trying to see which pass would be good for me. No? Okay. So the last couple of nights to work, I took like spaghetti stuff, leftover spaghetti and chicken, and it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's really good, but it's also really, really filling. Uh, and that's a problem when I have like, because I, I go to Tim Hortons at lunch, of course, and um, it's, it, it, that takes me like 15 minutes once I actually get everyone's order and get back to work. So then I have to heat it up and then I have to eat it in like less than 15 minutes. And it's really filling. And if you eat something that's really filling within 15 minutes and then have to go sit back, like sit back down immediately uh, and take calls, it's, it's not the most pleasant feeling. That's why I'm heating up and eating it now. Mmm. We need to eat spaghetti. Mmm. Alright, it's just about time to go. I have no idea what I'm going to take for lunch. I have seriously no idea at all. Um, no. No idea. Oh, I got a person. That's right. So I'm pretty, pretty forgetful. Actually, most of the time, it's true. And now I have to put supper in the oven. Oh, there we go. No, that was just turning in the oven. Now I have to put supper in the oven. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, no, I'm going to need two hands. One second. There. Even though I won't be home to eat it, I still have to put it in the oven and be kind and be nice and stuff. So now I have to go to work and it's gonna be a good night at work. Right? Keep positive. That's, that's really what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> work is work, okay? Work is a call center and you can't really expect much from a call center. So we're gonna think things are good and then they're gonna be good. And that's how that's gonna work. Um. Yeah, I might as well just go to Subway or something. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna try and make not the same mistake again as I did yesterday, because yesterday I only took my It's Canada Outside hoodie to work for, like, a jacket, and it gets really cold inside. Like, outside was mild. Outside, the can it's, it's Canada Outside hoodie would have been fine. But inside, I had it zipped up and I had my hood up. I was still cold, because they have the air conditioning, and... Um, they usually like to leave it on, which is fine in the daytime, right? And then 
when there's not nearly as many people there later on, that's when it becomes a problem. And it gets super, super cold. Like, I, it hasn't gotten to a point where I could see my breath, but uh, trust me, if it ever gets to that point, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. All right, off to the King of Burgers, because my body really decided that it wanted a burger. Uh, and it decided that the burger it wanted was a Whopper. So I'm going in there, and it's gonna be half my lunch. I'm gonna eat half my break, half my lunch, so I'm not stuffed all the time. And holy balls, it is cold in there. Like, I am extra bundled up extra much, and it is still cold. Like, it's crazy. It's not right, come on. Turn off the air conditioning. Because, see, the, the air conditioning is set to, you know, a whole bunch of people be, being in the building. Like, almost 200 people being in the building. And if there's only 45 people in the building, if that, it, it's a lot colder than it's supposed to be. So turn off the D G D A C. Gak. Gak. Oh jeez. Time for Burger King. So I just went to Burger King and the dude was like, hey, blah 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 blah. Do you want a drink? And I, like he was going to hand me a drink and I was like, I didn't order a drink. He's like, oh, oops. Hang on one second. Because he only charged me some Whopper. I was like, I mean, if you want to give it to me anyway, <laughs> go right ahead. Uh, and um, that. So I, I think it's root beer or something like that. I, I, sure, I'll take a free drink. I don't normally drink pop, so so this is like a treat. I don't I don't see any need to drink pop. I don't. Whatever, free drink, sweet. I got a Whopper and a drink. Woo! Score and double today. You know, I think a Whopper <coughs> is probably one of the most tastiest burgers that I've ever had. I eat a lot of burgers. I eat a lot of burgers. And that sounds really bad. It sounds like I'm really, really giant, but I'm not. I just like burgers and fast food. No, those are great things. But yeah, free pop. Why not? Hey, I'm off. In time, man, it was a boring night and I like it when it's boring because that means I don't have to do as much work and I still get paid the same amount. Why am I wide awake? I don't know. This is bad because I won't sleep very well if I'm wide awake. Oh, sh crap. Hey, guys. So basically, it's pretty much bedtime. It's almost three, it's like 3.30. And I've been talking to a bunch of people trying to make a Halloween short film. Speaking of short films, I'm trying to get every single video on From Here to Their Films. Annotation here, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get every single video on From Here to Their Films to at least 100 views by the end of October. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys helped me out uh, and uh, maybe shared it, maybe uh, watched a couple of videos a couple of times, you never know. Uh, but by the end of October, I want to try and get every single video. And I'm going to try and put together another short film by the end of October to be released on Halloween. Like I started playing it, playing it a couple of days ago. So that should work out very, very well. And... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully it'll be very good. So, uh, I'm going to go to bed now, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning, because I see you every day. All right.